All right, now, um, let's see, scrolling down, David, tell me advice for tongue placement, please. All right, um, David, we'll go ahead and start with this. David wants to know uh, advice about tongue placement. In the course that we talk a lot about, there is a video about tongue placement, okay? There's actually a couple. The tongue is extremely important. In, in fact, it's, it's the tongue uh, tends to, it just seems that we don't, we, including me, voice coaches, we don't tend to talk enough about the tongue. We don't spend enough time uh, uh, discussing its importance. Um, if you think about it, we have several articulators, we call them articulators, that help us to articulate the phonetics when we're singing, okay? Consonants and vowels and what have you. Hang on, let me, let me close my windows. Back to the tongue. So we have certain articulators that help us to articulate consonants and vowels when we're speaking and when we're singing, okay? Some of these articulators are the soft palate, the way the, the palate inside the mouth moves around, mm, lips, jaw, and also through the, the, the upper vocal tract area, the, the area above the vocal cords. This is sort of, sort of flexing and moving and tilting and squeezing and narrowing and making shapes. That's also articulating. The, 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 uh, the trachea space above the vocal folds is also, we can't see it, but you can it's sort, of, sort of articulating and making shapes. But most of all, the most powerful articulator is the tongue. The tongue is an amazing athlete, okay? The tongue is an amazing athlete. The tongue is this, this, this multi, multi, faceted muscle that can go up, down, left, right, curl, curl under, curl up, curl to the side. The tongue can do wonderful things, okay? And, and so, so I just wanna make that point. I guess I'm, it's just sort of a winded way of saying it's really important. So uh, good question about the tongue. Now, he's, he's asking David uh, advice for tongue advice for tongue placement meaning all right so tongue's important where we put it well of course the tongue has to be moving ah, la, 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 when you're articulating the phonetics right so so that's one thing uh, there's not not much way to get around that I mean if, if you have to make a T you got to make a T so the tongue has to do what it needs to do but the question really if you look inside, if you're a good voice coach and you can kind of see inside, what the question is sort of getting at is, where do I put the tongue when I'm singing through a vowel? Not when I'm using it to articulate a consonant, a pop, a click, a plosive, an L, you know, uh, th these other things. What do we do with the tongue when I'm, Ha! Ah, I'm singing through a vowel or just a pure sound color. Okay. Well, really good advice. And again, it's in the lecture, in the course, in the book, is to engage in tongue leveraging. Tongue leveraging. All right. You got the tip of your tongue here. You got the back of your bottom teeth here, right? So when you're singing a vowel, it's a really good idea to take the tip of the tongue and push it against the back of the bottom teeth, okay? Like this, see? Tip of the tongue, back of my bottom teeth. Now, don't give it hell, don't, don't 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 push it too hard. It's you know confident, firmly, just like a like a little nudge, little nudge. You're you're not you're not shoving it. You're not going crazy. You're just going to give it a little tap. A little, you're going to just sort of lean into it a little bit. Okay. Now this is a, a has some great benefits. One, it gets the tongue out of the way. Oftentimes, 
a lot of students will retract the tongue when they're singing. When they go to the vowel, they pull back and retract the tongue. Hey, ah. You see how my tongue is sort of pulling back, all right? Beginning students do this all the time. Uh, 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 people that don't really have not trained good vocal technique will do this all the time. And it will just kill you. It, apart from the fact that it screws up all the harmonics and the partials and the color and the format and the vowel and all of that that you know is important, um, retracting the tongue is just, you, you can't get the articulation from it. It just sucks in about three different ways. Okay, so be aware of not retracting the tongue and be aware of taking the tip of the tongue and anchoring it against the back and bottom teeth when you are singing through vowels, okay? Now, a variant on the tongue anchoring is to put the tongue um, not here, but here, okay? Underneath. If you take the tip of your tongue and you, kind of, you can kind of feel the roots of the teeth on the bottom edge here. You can feel the roots of the teeth and you just take the tip of your tongue and just kind of go. And you can get underneath. It's like, it's got a, like a little ridge to it. You feel that little ridge from where it goes from your teeth to your, to your gums. Um, and I believe this is called the ventricular vestibule or something. I actually, I actually called my dentist when I was writing the book. And I'm like, what do you call this little space right below the roots of the bottom teeth? We cut, we, we cut. And it's, I don't, I, I think it's the, ven, the ventricular vestibule or something like that. Anyways, doesn't matter. You don't have to remember that. So you can also anchor the tip of your tongue underneath the roots of the bottom teeth. Yeah, okay. And this is really interesting. Write this down. This is interesting, I think. <laughs> when I train glottal attacks, when I train glottal attacks like that, I find that I want to put the tip of my tongue here. I want to dig it in underneath the roots of my bottom teeth. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that that's what you should do or that's the best thing to do. Um, it's just something that I sort of gravitated towards. My body felt that that was a, where it wanted to put the tongue, and it's a good place to put it. So you might try that. You might try that when you're, when you're trying to belt. When you're trying to get big and boomy in the head voice and you're belting through a vowel, try tongue leveraging or dig in, get a little bit more leverage underneath the roots of the bottom teeth. Get in there, all right? And there's something about that position that makes the musculature sort of go, mm. it locks in, and then you can sing through vowels um, in your head voice. Okay? There's another tongue position I talk about in the course in the book, which is, uh, and this is like, a, like, like the open throat tongue position, and that's just getting the tongue sort of flat and forward. Uh-huh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, it reminds me of my colleague, Ken Tamplin. You guys, if you've ever seen him sing, he sticks his tongue out a lot. We've seen it. He goes, ah, he's singing. And I'll do it too from time to time when I'm screaming. When I'm in like a rock or a metal song and I'm screaming. Um, I like to get a little bit more room back in the pharynx, a little bit more space. So I... Ah, get my tongue out a little bit more. Just poke, poke it out just a smidge, just for a second or two to open up a little bit. That's another tongue position, but it's sort of a, sort of a, a specialty item that you would only do once in a while. And I think, like, I don't know, Ken does it all the time. That's great, fine. I don't want to do it all the time. I don't need to. I just do it when I'm typically, like, singing a big, big metal scream. All right? So go to the course either you, Damien, or the full course, watch the videos on tongue leveraging positions. Um, we've got the uh, open throat tongue position I just described, and then two different tongue leveraging positions.